Hello everybody, it's the Horror Fan Man. Just been woke up this morning. The postman just dropped this off for me. Female Prisoner Scorpion, complete collection from Arrow Video. Ah, I love that. The way she stands out, they're all red on the rest of them. Really, really cool artwork there. That's fine, that's the films you get. Female Prisoner Scorpion, 701. Jailhouse 41. Be Stable and 701's Grudge Song. That's really cool as well, that. There's all the limited edition contents. That's in there. Limited edition Blu-ray collection, 4,000 copies. Brand new 2K restoration, all four films in the series. Present is on high definition Blu-ray and standard definition DVD. Original mono audio. Subtitles for all films. Double-sided fold-out poster, original artwork, reversible sleeves for all films, featuring original and newly commissioned artwork by Ian McEwan, booklet featuring new writing on the film by critic Chuck Stevens, brand new interview with Toru Shinora, creator of the original Scorpion manga, an archive interview with Miko Kaiji by Chris D, illustrative original stills. <clears throat> so quite a few things there. Also got um, for the female prisoner 701 Scorpion. Newly films appreciation by filmmaker Gareth Evans, who made the raid. Shuninya Iato, Birth of an Outlaw, an archive interview with the director. Scorpion Old and New, a new interview with assistant director y <laughs> Yataka Kahayara. Theatrical trailers for all four films in the series. From Jailhouse 41, newly filmed appreciation by critic Kiela Janis, Japanese cinematic critic Jasper Sharp. Examines the career of Shinya Ito, designer Scorpion, a new interview with producer, well, sorry, production designer as well. Original theatrical trailer and teaser on the B Stable. It's a um, newly filmed appreciation by critic Cad Ellinger. Um, director Miko Kaji, an archive interview with the director. Unchained Melody, a new visual essay by Tom Mez on the career of Miko Kaji. And original trailer and teaser. And on 701's Grudge Song, newly found appreciation by filmmaker Kajiyoshi Kimaki. And some finishing the series, an archive interview with the director, Japanese cinema critic Jasper Sharp examines the career of Yoshihara Hashabi. They call her Scorpion, a new visual essay by Tom Mess on the film series and original theatrical trailer. So, a lot of stuff on there, as you can see. Tons of it. There's the running time for them all, 87.94, 87.88. Aspect ratio as well. Subtitle, all subtitled, obviously. And this is region B locked as well. And DVD is region 2. So, yeah. Really, really cool, cool set here. All in the thin cases here. So, let's see if I can get them out. Right. First up. Wow, look at that. That looks brilliant, doesn't it? Really cool. This is the book you get. It's a the hardback book. So it's not a shitty little thin booklet. So yeah. Let's look at this because I haven't seen any of the inside this myself at all. So yeah. So, the contents there. Film credits, Vengeance is Hers, Grudge Song, Beth Scorpion, about the transfers as well. Yeah, so. That's a nice picture as well. Isn't it? So, yeah, this looks like it's well worth it. I used a lot of my um, actual points up that I've been collecting to get this because it was quite expensive. That's why I didn't get the last one that I've just done, the, um, the Gore Box set. Not paying over a hundred quid for a set of films, but you know, since I've ordered this back in, um, I think it was April, I've actually collected up quite a lot of points as well. Again, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. So um, yeah. So next time uh, a decent box set comes out, I'll at least get thirty or forty quid off it. Yeah. So that's that. Be a good read that one. So. That's the book. Now it's the films themselves. Oh, 
nice cover. I really do like these. I'm just watching how these drawings I've been doing for these are proper manga style. I used to collect the old manga video VHS is back in the day. I used to have nearly all of them and they used to come out every month. So that's the first one. Really, really nice. Oh yeah, there's the arc. There it is there. The crazies, what a lot of people thought was actually going to be one of the um, October releases. Time for Halloween. It's pretty cool. And there's the original artwork, which is quite good as well, but I do like the new one. So that's that one. Next one. That's really cool as well. I do like that. Really, really smart. Back there. So, it's a double one there. And it's the original artwork. Hmm. Pretty boring that. So, yep. Yeah. Stick with the new one. Which I do like. Oh, that's nice as well, isn't it? Yeah, I can't wait to see these films. I've never actually watched them, so I've never actually really heard of them until they actually said they're going to release it. That's not bad. I like the old crows on there. There's the last one. That's cool as well. I like that. Grudge song. I'm just glad these are easier to open with one hand. That's what I do. I actually like that one as well. But yeah, I'm going to stick with the new commissioned one because I do like the old manga from back in the day. That's cool. So, obviously. This is going to be a poster, which is <laughs> going to be quite awkward, I think. So, I'll just do my best here. Aha, so there's the first one. It's the old poster there, the old 701. And that one as well. That's a pity one of them wasn't the old, um, one of the new covers. So yeah, that's it. That's the um, that's the box set there with um, all the films. Films there, the book, and obviously the poster there. So yeah, it's actually a lot. This is going to be a a short video, just showing this because I thought it was worth it on the day it came out here. So yeah, really, really top release by Arrow. Just a pity they didn't have the Phantasm box set done for um, Halloween and in October and that. Yeah, but this is a really, really, really cool set. Nice artwork. I love it. Yeah, so thanks for watching. And anyone who's pre-ordered this should be getting this in the post soon or probably get it today like me. Yeah, thanks everyone. And don't forget, even though this isn't a horror film, keep it horror.